Romanian general, retired, expert in radiolocation, radar technology, and doctor in geophysical war. Currently he occupies the following positions. Advisor of the Romanian Parliament on Unconventional Issues and Asymmetrical Threats. Director of the Special Situations and Research Center on UFOs and Psychotronics. Founder of the Association for the Study of Unidentified Aerospace Phenomena. Author of dozens of esoteric books. In the introduction he speaks about a good friend of his who had seen two reptilian beings in an early morning, 5 a.m., in the Rizat Mountains, a group of mountains in the Carpathians. His friend is a military figure as well, a high-ranking officer specialized in commando warfare, which asked for his identity to remain undisclosed. He served in Iraq, Afghanistan, Africa, and South America. Currently he is on another war theater in the Middle East. General Strainu also mentioned that his friend is not a fan of either sci-fi or ufology. General Strainu stated that he trusts his friend above any doubt. The events took place as follows. The high-ranking officer, let's call him Colonel X, was driving back from a short camping trip, which he took alone in the mountains. He was closing to Bucharest, Romania's capital city, when his car signalized that it was low on gas, so he pulled into a small rural gas station. It was 5 o'clock to 5.10 a.m., so nobody was around. Colonel X noticed a khaki Hummer with black windows parked outside the gas station with the engine on, but nobody around it. After filling up his tank, he paid and headed back to his SUV. But then he noticed that the driver's door of the Hummer was opened and inside it he saw a reptilian being. The reptilian had no clothes but it was wearing military boots. He, it was entirely covered with green scales, just like a crocodile and had a lizard-type crest on the head. The reptilian saw Colonel X, then he got out of the car unhindered, while still staring at him. He directed some sharp sounds at someone from inside the car, this time looking irritated, then got back at the wheel and quickly drove away. The car had no license plates, either on the front or back. Colonel X appreciated the reptilian to be two, zero meters, 78,7 inches high, with yellow eyes and cat-type slits. The colonel looked around to see if someone else had witnessed the event, but he was alone. Then he noticed the gas station's video camera. Unfortunately, the salesman told him that the camera was just for decoration and had no practical use, other than scare any potential robbers. Thinking that this was a very well-played hoax, he got back into the car and continued his journey. After several miles he was still very ridden by the events, when he saw the same Hummer with all four doors opened. Further, outside the road, he noticed two dark green reptilians that seemed to be arguing. The second reptilian was 15 to 20 centimeters, 5,9 to 7,9 inches, higher than the first one. He wasn't wearing clothes or boots. He had lizard-type feet and unlike the first one, he had a tail. On the street, trucks were passing by in both directions and the drivers were pointing at the creatures, but nobody pulled over. Then, Colonel X got his mobile phone out and took several photographs of the reptilians that were totally careless of this event. After three five minutes, the two reptilians got back into the car and drove back in the direction they initially came from, with high speed. The colonel looked again at the pictures from his mobile phone and rushed for Bucharest in order to contact General Strainu and together decide what to do with the astonishing pictures. Back in Bucharest, the phone was clearly showing 11 pictures, but all of them were completely green. Together with General Strainu, they headed to a phone service company that couldn't help them either. It was like the colonel photographed a bright green light. For two weeks they analyzed the story in great detail and searched for witnesses, but all efforts ended up in failure. General Emil Strainu concluded, Only one thing is sure, we live in a world that we only think we know, having a false impression that we are its masters. In fact we are only subtenants in transit, on a planet that never belonged to us and having no idea what our purpose really is.